Hello Mac Warriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of Mac Warrior Online. Today I am playing the Cataphract 3L in the loyalty variant. I got this because I spent money last year on that game and it's it's pretty cool because first of all it's a Cataphract, it's a very tanky mech and I'm having a very nice brawling setup for you today. So let's get over to the Mac Lab and then I'm talking about the build a bit. As you can see, I've got the big bad AC-20. It deals a lot of damage on close range. But this one is especially interesting because this mech has a range quirk on the ballistic weapons. And that makes it so that you can fire the AC-20 on mid-range if you take the cooldown and the range uh, module for that. It brings the range to about 325 meters and that is that is really, really decent. Also a cooldown quirk, it's, it's also pretty good, so you can pump out those AC-20 shells and that deals a lot of damage. Also, uh, that one has five energy hard points and I'm taking five medium lasers. It's back up with it. The rest is filled with heat sinks and, most importantly, the mask. So the Cataphract 3L can carry a mask and therefore I uh, dropped the engine to 285. Usually I'm going for 300, but uh, you can totally do that and you are still pretty mobile because the mask, if you hit it, it gives you a speed bonus of plus 17%. And that makes it so that the Cataphract 3L runs 83 kph when, uh, when when hitting the mask. And this is this is everything you need. So a brawler usually wants to get to the front line and then you, he wants to stick there. So you don't need that big engine when you are in the fight. You just need to make sure that you get there and there the mask is coming in very handy. Also you get that big acceleration deceleration boost. So mobility is, is, is awesome in that one. Yeah, I've got four tons of ammo. That's uh, just enough for the AC-20. And the modules are, of course, AC-20 cooldown, AC-20 range. Also an advanced seismic sensor so that I know when to go in and when not to go in and a rated deprivation to break locks from the missiles. And I'm taking two cool shots here because the build is quite hot. Having all these medium lasers, they rack up the heat so much. And this is meant to be a brawler. I need to be in the fight for a long time, probably. And therefore, I need that one to be cooled down. And that is the build. I hope you will enjoy the two games that are coming. Uh, unfortunately, I deleted the first one and I had to re-record it. And therefore, the second one starts a bit odd because I was saying that uh, I'm playing River City again. But it wasn't the case, but I guess you get the point. I wish you all a lot of fun. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. All right, first game of the day. We are playing Canyon Network. We are playing Skirmish. And what's cool about the build is the acceleration and deceleration buff. As you can see, when I hit the mask, it instantly gets to maximum speed. And that is really cool. So we can we can use that as uh, not only a burst of speed. So we are at 83 kph when I hit that. Uh, that increases our max speed. But uh, I like the mobility more. So th that is really cool about the mask. Also, I can turn around really quick. Uh, nice 360 here. It's not really quick, I know. It's it's after all still a cataphract, which is kind of clumsy, but uh, it's it's cool. So having a mask, it really really enables us doing a lot of shenanigans. It adds a lot to our mobility, and that's really cool in a brawler. So maybe maybe we can even position ourselves behind the enemy if we uh, get a good opportunity, and then we can shoot the AC20 and the mediums into the back. Of course, I need to make sure when I'm doing so that nobody is striking my back. Then that would be not that good. But yeah, so we are going to play just some skirmish stuff here. Waiting for the enemy to come over to Charlie 4, Delta 4. That is the usual way to go when you're coming from that side. Oh, and we have already some seismic. Good. I really like the seismic sensor and brawlers. I used to, to put a lot of radar deprivation into it, and this one has that as well. But uh, it's, it's good to have a seismic, actually. Knowing when to go in, when to not go in. Also, don't block me. I want to go. Come on. Ah, crap, that missed. New so let's get back out here. So I, I used that burst of speed again, just to get out of that position and avoiding that retaliation fire. And now I'm just positioning myself to the right. Again, using that big speed burst here. Unfortunately, the Shadow Cat was written off before I could get off a shot. Also, we got an Assault Mech coming up. Uh, I don't want to put up with him, not alone. So let's just wait for the rest of the team to arrive. Uh, still a guy, I think it's still a shadow cat. Uh, it's a king crab, okay. I'm gonna pull back, and I'm going in again, because the, the king crab decided to go back, uh, destroy the component, which is good. But again, my shot went wild. It was uh, above, 
the head of the king crab. And I really should take some time to aim. Also, I'm not sure what the Marauder is doing here. Constantly moving back and forth. And again, there my mask is coming in very handy. Okay, let's get back out again. This is what I like about the build. So you can push forward, you can get off your shot, and then you can get back to cover again. It's really cool. Ah, all you need to do is hit your shots. Alright, so we're just waiting here for, for our Assault Max coming down there. There's now really a big point peeking in and out because everybody is just watching that flank. Again, why am I not hitting anything here? Maybe I should take some time to aim, actually. Hello? Mr. King Crab. Can I shoot you, please? There we go. This is how I like it. Okay, let's get out again. It's too many return fire. But they are stuck down there, which is good. So I'm just gladly taking some easy shots on that Warhammer. Getting off his arm, probably. Yeah, we can shoot from above pretty easily right now. Oh man, the big holes! Yeah, Exile Engine. Saw that coming. And now it's time to kill him. He is dead already. And that one is dead already too. We are totally stomping then. But I, I guess you get a good glimpse of what the mech can do. It's it's really decent in, in terms of mobility. And that is very unusual for a cataphract. So... Gonna hit the mask again. I want to get close to get the kill. Maybe I'm still there in time. Probably not, because my team is pushing hard from the left. So I'm just using my cheetah for some scouting. Shoot the cataphract. Miss again. But the mediums won't fail me. <laughs> oh man, I'm so bad today. Okay, that's fine. Pop a cool shot. Get another kill. And down they go. Yeah, that's it. That was pretty nasty. Yeah, if I would hit my shots more often, then I would probably have a bigger damage score. But let's see what uh, the, the game was in the end. So let's have a look at the end screen. I like the cataphract. It's it's decent. It's a nice problem. 654, two kills. Uh, got six assists. Got seven components destroyed. Yeah, that turned out pretty pretty good here. So my team totally stomped the enemy. But uh, it's just the way it is at the moment. Either you get a stomp or you get stomped. Anyway, let's get over to the next one and see how this will go down. All right, second game. We are playing River City again. We are playing Conquest this time. And uh, I think we will do the same thing as before. Just go close, brawl everything down, destroy enemy components and such. And yeah, just fire our AC-20 over and over again. It's a really fun build. It's, the Cataphract is very durable. And uh, by the way, you can do this build, of course, in any Cataphract. So, uh, not a not any. Uh, I, I guess the Ilya Muramets is not good for that. But just take a uh, Cataphract Zero XP, for example. Just switch the ECM... Uh, the, the mask for an ECM and uh, then you can basically do the same thing. Maybe go for a standard 300 engine, but take four medium lasers instead of five and that's it. So yeah, that's uh, that's a really, really nice build that I'm having. It's it's meant to be on the Cataphract. The AC-20 is such, just so good. It is very low mounted, of course, but uh, it's a close range weapon, so you don't need a high mount for that. Anyway, uh, yeah, we are going to push Feta, I guess. Uh, since we already got it in our possession, uh, it's, I think, a good idea to defend it then. Now we have a little, uh, yeah, dominance on the caps, and the enemy needs to actually do something about it, or it will lose, uh, they will lose at, uh, at the long term. Enemy assaults Fox 4, good. They are up there. Right, then let's just push the other side. Why not? Let's just avoid them for, for the time being. And we have a, a cicada. That's too fast for me, actually. Cicadas pushing the left flank. Oops, I, uh, yeah, I totally missed that shot. But we can just shoot that one. Can I... Nah, that is, that is just a waste of ammo. And yeah, we're getting a lot of fire from there. So we have some lights and mediums in Hotel 6, Gold 6. Uh, if the enemy assaults are on the other side, we could just destroy them probably. Uh, can we get out there? Ah, that's a spider, that's too fast. So, yeah, I'm using my mask to just give that acceleration and deceleration buff. Gonna, gotta move in out, in out fast. That is what the mask is good at. Hey, Shadow Cat, you flip your uh, ECM account. 
Oh, not good, not good. You're in a bad spot, man. Get out of there. Get out of there. This is not what I meant when I said let's just kill him. So, uh, what can we do? We could flank them possibly, trying to get into uh, the city to get a bit of cover and then get into a good brawl. That would be probably the best idea from that position right now. Alright, let's get to the city and uh, get into a brawl, I guess. Oh man. I'm sorry. Sorry for that, Cicada. Uh, don't step back. Push forward. W is the key to press. Okay, let's let's just rush the city. New target acquired. That is the, the Cicada. Maybe he comes out there. If so, he will get shot. There he is. Oh, that hit. I'm very happy about that. There is... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He just ran in front of me and I hit my AC-20. I can't do anything here. Come on. Don't stop, man. We are on the push. We need some targets, though. That Jagamac. He is overheated, which is kind of bad for him. But we'll gladly take it. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to push around here. Just to get into their flanks when they're coming out. So, heat vision. Just to target the enemies. Oh man, I'm so sorry about the team kill. And we've got another target. That's a cicada. Okay. But yeah, uh, we are kind of flanking them. Uh, blind fire though, no, did nothing. I'm gonna support my battle master. Cool down, battle master. Take your time. We are getting into a brawl right now. I'm going for a hotel. Yeah, let's kill the Kodiak. I think we can do it. Just wait for him. Oh, not good. Good, we got one of his components. His auto cannons are jammed, and I need to get out of here really fast. Okay, got into cover, and there again the mask came into play. Good. Of course the seismic sensor also helps, knowing what's going on around you. Got a component from the Timberwolf, and that one is, was taken down pretty easily. Nice. So it's working out in our favor, I guess. Gonna be a bit more reckless now. Can we shoot over that? Uh, not really, I guess. Oh, we can actually. So let's get out of here. Let's get out to play. That one is stripped. So we focus on that Scorch. Nice. Uh, it's working out, but we need the caps right now. Alright, so we have a Marauder over there, which is oh, disconnected, I guess. Is he? It seems so. So, yeah, we're just going to cap then. Just make sure that we won't lose this game on, on the objective. So, let's get over here. Yeah, he just killed the Marauder. He stripped him bit by bit. That was kind of rude. But anyway, that was a nice brawl. I we used the cover, definitely, to our advantage there. And I'm very, very happy about the outcome so far. Uh, gonna stay here for a while. Gonna chill. Just to make sure that they won't get ahead so much. And then we could probably go in again. So there are still two enemies alive. Um... They will probably go for Sigma, I guess. There's one. Ah, it's too far away. It's a Cicada 3M. I hit him really good with my auto cannon. If it was him, I don't know. Oh, actually, Seismic. Gonna, gonna keep track what's going on. I can't really see you there. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. That was the second Cicada. I am on a killing spree here. Uh, he is stuck. A oh, god. Also, I am missing all of my shots. <laughs> oh, man. Can he? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. I'm, I'm so, I don't know. I just fired my AC-20 twice in a cicada. <laughs> that thing hurts. I'm so sorry. Oh, my god. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay, we captured that one. Maybe we can kill that cicada there. It's of course an enemy, uh, but I don't think so. He will be taken down. Yeah, there we go. Oh God, what a game! What a game! That was... Uh, <clears throat> I didn't pay attention. 
Or maybe it was just bad luck there. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we won the game. Uh, it was pretty messy. I uh, Yeah, I, I would get a big penalty for that. <laughs> but 503 damage, got one kill, eight assists, and uh, three this, uh, kill mods damage dealt. Six components destroyed. And that's it for today. That is your AC20 Cataphract, and I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you want more of this. And if you want to support the channel and me, then uh, go over to the description down below. There is a link to my Patreon page. You can support me with a bit of money if you want. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye. <laughs>